Could we terraform a planet? The idea sounds like something pulled straight from the pages of a sci-fi novel, but it's a concept that scientists have seriously pondered. The dream is simple. Take a barren, hostile world and turn it into a second Earth. The reality, however, is far from easy. Mars often takes center stage in these discussions. It's relatively close, it has polar ice caps, and its day is about as long as ours. But its thin atmosphere, just 1% the pressure of Earth's, and lack of a magnetic field make it brutally inhospitable. Terraforming Mars would likely begin with warming it up. One proposed method involves pumping potent greenhouse gases into the atmosphere, perfluorocarbons, for instance, to trap solar heat. Another idea is deploying giant orbital mirrors to focus sunlight on the planet's surface, slowly raising temperatures and melting the carbon dioxide locked in its ice caps. This could thicken the atmosphere and kickstart a warming cycle. Still, even optimistic estimates say we're talking about centuries, if not millennia, of effort. Venus is another candidate, but its challenges are of a different nature. It already has a thick atmosphere. Too thick, in fact, with surface temperatures hot enough to melt lead. Terraforming Venus would mean doing the opposite of Mars. Removing massive amounts of carbon dioxide, cooling the planet, and somehow thinning the air. Some proposals suggest floating solar shades to block sunlight or even genetically engineering microbes to convert CO2. But with crushing pressures and sulfuric acid clouds, Venus is arguably an even tougher nut to crack. Then there's Titan, Saturn's largest moon. It's got an atmosphere thicker than Earth's and abundant organic materials. But it's incredibly cold, with surface temperatures around 290 Bwadiyu. Still, its atmosphere is nitrogen-rich, a good start. Scientists imagine using nuclear power or even fusion to warm it, while introducing Earth microbes to gradually reshape the environment. In theory, Titan could be a long-term project for a distant future humanity. But here's the catch. The energy requirements are astronomical. The timelines stretch into thousands of years and the technology isn't there yet. Terraforming remains for now a vision rather than a plan. A thought experiment that stretches the boundaries of science, engineering, and imagination. But if humanity truly becomes a spacefaring species, one day perhaps the deserts of Mars or the haze of Titan might echo with the sound of human life.